So if you read a lot of books like me, then you might want to check out this simple and modern ebook viewer for the Linux desktop. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I want to show you guys a nice uh, ebook viewer that you can install on your Linux desktop. Um, this is the way that I read a lot of books, especially when I'm uh, studying for a certification exam or something to that effect, or if I just want to do some, some regular old reading of books that I have around uh, on my share drive or ebooks that I have around. Uh, if I'm trying to figure out something or learn something new, then I always use this viewer when checking out those books. And it's a very simple to use application. Uh, I use it on my Orch desktop environment, my main system. Uh, and I wanted to show you guys how to get it installed on your Linux operating system. And I'll, I typically use Ubuntu to demonstrate a lot of it. And so that's what I'm gonna use today as well to show you guys how to get this thing installed. Like I said, it's very simple to use, but I'm totally forgetting to tell you guys the name, but the name of it is Foliate. And before I show you guys how to get this thing installed, let me go over to the GitHub page or the actual website. And then we can check out the GitHub page as well, just to see everything about this application. All right, cool. So we are at the GitHub page or the website for the actual application called Foliate. And as you can see, it says a simple and modern ebook viewer for the Linux desktop. Um, and as you can see, it has uh, flat, flat packs, uh, snap, snap, um, package to install it and you can also download the dev package for it that's the ways to get it installed so it's super simple you can also add a ppa which that's what the dev package will do it'll add the ppa for you automatically and get it installed uh, so you do it that way but check it out man it's beautiful you know what i'm saying the way it actually looks uh, you have your whole little catalog. Uh, it also has some free catalogs that it connects to. And I'll show you guys that in a little bit too. Um, but once we get in this style. But yeah, you can go through and read all your little ebooks from this simple to use, uh, easy to navigate application. Um, as you can see, it says, you know, this is some of the information about it. But it says beautiful pages. Uh, it supports EPUB, uh, Moby Pocket, Kindle, fiction books, and comic book archive formats. So those are the, the formats that you can install uh, or use. Uh, you can't like use PDFs, you know, and stuff like that. But uh, these formats are, are beautiful. You know, they look beautiful in the application uh, if you have those formats. And hopefully you do. Most people, you know, share. If there's ebooks out there, they're shared. You know, it's a lot of free ebooks that you can get out there, uh, especially on tech, you know, where you can, you know, read those books on your system uh, and that'll help you. I don't know get a you can read it you know instead of having all these big paper books like i have a lot of anyway um but you can have a lot more books you know digitally so uh auto hyphenation um i don't know what that is uh scratomorphic uh mode auto high cursor and window controls uh support right to left and vertical text so yeah it's awesome application as you can see you know you can highlight certain things uh bookmark annotations um you know some tools included with it as well and then also like i was saying flat packs snap package you know all that um in order to get it installed and then this is the way to install it based on the distributions and foliate is in the arch repository the main arch repository uh for door you can install it it's from the it's in that repository so all you have to do is use the dnf uh install command uh gentoo you can install it manjaro uh same most likely the same as orch linux so pacman s uh mx linux uh open uh and like i said uh ubuntu has a dev package as well as uh you can even use a ppa or install a ppa manually uh, using that they have a stable and a daily build i recommend you use the stable and then also the snap store like i was saying you got a snap package to get it installed uh void linux you can do the exact same thing uh installing and using xbps uh, dash install you know that format uh dragonfly bsd so you can install it on bsd as well so good to go 
Now here are some manual installation instructions. I'm not gonna read all this, I'll show you. I just wanted to at least show you guys that you can, you know, do a manual installation from source as well, as well as the optional dependencies. You can add those as well. But let's go back up to the top. And of course, I had a link to this down in the description of the video. But if you go over to the source, that'll bring up the GitHub page. And that's why I kept saying GitHub at the beginning. Uh, essentially, I believe this website is, is hosted on github but same information i just wanted to at least show you guys you know this is the open source you know applications this is all the files you know for the application uh, so if you want to contribute you can you know it's awesome it's an awesome application it's mostly written in javascript so as you can see 99.2 percent of it is javascript uh, so majority of it is built in javascript and this has a breakdown of the formats that's mainly why i wanted to come here and show you guys this uh, you can see the actual extension names so the kindle amazon stuff the fictional book uh, the epubs uh, comic books so the cbr cbz uh, plain text so die text files as well uh, single column you know two column uh, or continue with scrolling layout so you can do multiple different layouts suggest fonts you know line space and margin you know all that stuff fine books you know all that and then same information about how to get it installed and the versions that are available for you know all the different versions of Linux is Linux you know what I'm saying so check that out if you need to optional dependencies as well as installation instructions so you have a little bit more over here um, just showing you how to get things going so you do the flat pack builder you know to get it installed or get get all this installed using uh, the flat pack flat hub and all that stuff uh, but you know what I'm saying we can easily do it in Ubuntu so let's hop over to my virtual machine so we can get it installed and I'll give you guys a quick demonstration so you can see how to get it installed and how to connect to your books or add your books to the actual application so be back in a sec before we move forward, I wanted to ask the Keep It Techie fam to consider joining my channel membership. By joining the membership, you can support the channel, get access to member-only videos, tech mentorship, early technical course access, and exclusive Linux content. Thanks, and back to the video. All right, cool. So I'm logged into my virtual machine. This is Ubuntu 22.10. Um, this is that one I updated to 22.010 kinetic kudu uh, a couple days ago so uh this is that same uh system but all we want to do in order to get uh folly inst installed is just go to the ubuntu software center this is the easiest way to install it like i said you can use the you know that you can install a ppa manually if you want to or you can get the uh the dev package which i'll show you guys how to get either or i'm gonna just install it using snap just to make it super simple but all you have to do is go to your software center hit the search button type in foliate and just make sure you spell it right but uh foliate and there you go it should come up you should be able to find it just click on it that'll open up the actual app or the, the page for the application now you do have options you can install it from different sources so you got the regular snap store this is the latest stable version 2.6.3 they also have the edge which is kind of like that bleeding edge one uh that's still being developed on and then you also have your dev package you can install it that way so all you have to do is click on whichever one you want and hit install right now it's selected the dev but like i said we're going to use that snap store package uh and just hit install it's going to ask you for your pseudo password type that in authenticate and then as you can see it's installing now but as you can see it's got a lot of good reviews on it and actually let's scroll down while it's installing uh, it's safe, it's considered safe, it's confined uh, because it's snap package obviously um, and here's the project web, that's the same information we just went to, the project uh, website and all that but you can go through and look at all the reviews for it if you want to that's one cool thing I like about the, the app store at least you know and sorry it jumped back up to the top but people leave reviews on the actual application you can go through and look at look at them based on the stars i believe let's see how we get to them shit show more here we go so flat pack uh some people got issues with the flat pack but anyway i'm just showing you guys that you can look at the information or the reviews around and also leave your own review 
uh, to help out other people that may be interested in installing this. So we got it installed. It's good to go. Let's go to our store menu. And all we have to do is look for a foliate. Most of the time when something new is installed, it's at the end. So there we go, foliate. Click on it, boom. All right, cool. So we have the application open and as you can see, uh, there is an error, but it says could not open any files. That's because there are no files on this system and I need to add uh, some of my books on here. So I already have uh, the books attached. Uh, so my drive, my books drive attached. Um, and I believe I shared this a while back to you guys. Um, but let's connect to my share drive and this is basically a Samba share where I have some uh, application I mean some books on within that drive and it shouldn't take about a second to pop up but I'll find a couple of books that I have in those formats and we can add them to our main system and then we can open them up and then let's see let's click on this thing again see what's going on here we go so boom and I always forget the password but yeah there we go all right cool so uh, I'm gonna just drop the books into my documents directory but let's try to find some uh, cybersecurity books that are in that format there we go that's one so EPUB that's one of the formats let's add these two as well bug hunting um, let's go back well actually let's go back in there I'm sorry I don't know what I was thinking but let's add you know these three books first let's go try to find some more after that boom uh, let's add some more let's see i know we got some in the cissp no not in there uh let's see let's go back well i don't know let's see under python maybe some other python no let's see let's see if there's anything else well that's enough we only need a couple i just wanted to kind of show you guys um you know it having a couple so we can close that out as you can see i have them in my documents directory i'm gonna unmount, unmount that drive um and then all we have to do is hit add another file we can um add all of these we have to add them one at a time so let's hit select on that one uh that's cool and so as you can see we got this uh book you know open up and all you gotta do is you could scroll up and down and they'll take you through the actual pages of the book uh, as you can see and it looks super clean you see how clean that looks got the page numbers it's got the percentage at the bottom uh, let's see you can hit back page you can go forward page uh, text to speak on here uh, up here is the menu and just to show you guys you know this has the full layout of the book so that's what cool thing about it and I, I know you guys have seen stuff like this before uh, but you know if you've used any other reader they do have a lot of these options but annotations um, right here you can actually bookmark certain places in the book you know all that good stuff is available to you so uh, let's go here but you do have some options you can change the font style uh, spacing margin you know width they even have themes on here which I thought was super cool like for instance if you need to look at things in a dark theme then you know you had that option to set that as well uh, so you can look at the pages a whole lot better I don't know to me that looks better you know white words on a black background I can see the page a whole lot better and it doesn't hurt my eyes so that's my option you know what i'm saying but you do have other options got solarized uh and actually let's click on them and see so that blue with the gray is is nice too so let's go back uh you can also go to your library and this is how you add more you know books so all you have to do is hit that boom open it's gonna load that book up as well uh let's see this one uh let's add that one as well boom so now we got three books on there so we real world bug hunting uh the hacker playbook and that book right there and then this is what i was talking about with the catalog so you go into here you can look at some of the catalogs that they have let's reload it ah it's not able to load it up uh wonder why it's not loading anything up so i know it, it worked a while back um or it works on my main system i know for sure 
but uh, you can look at some ebooks that are out here um, that are available to you. Uh, maybe it's something with this virtual machine that's not, you know, working right. Let's see, open catalog. You can put catalog um, links in here. So you can connect to catalogs outside of, you know, your network. Um, open books, add books, preferences, you know, some more preferences in here. Uh, and this is the preferences mainly for um, their library, you know, area. So open last and open file on stored up, you know, you can modify this, make changes to this as you need, as you see fit. The interface as well, uh, use sidebar, you can turn that on. You can have it uh, auto hide the header board, which that's set by default. Um, so good to go. Um, but let's see, cache locations, cache book covers, uh, use trackers, you know, so th those are those preferences. And then when you open up the book, it kind of opens it up in a totally separate um, window and it closes out the other window, which I thought, I, which is, you know, it works, you know what I'm saying? But you just have to go in here to go back to your library, you know what I'm saying? If you need to go back to your library. Uh, so just check that out. I mean, just understand that, you know, that that's the way it kind of works. When you open up the book, it kind of closes out the library. It doesn't leave it open. Uh, it just goes right into that book. And then you can make it full screen, which is super cool, too. Um, you know, double click on it, make it a uh, short screen. Go back to, you know, here. And let's say you want to look for something specific. Boom. You know, super simple. And then one cool thing about it, you know, I like about ebooks, you can search, you know, you search out chapters, search current chapter, you know, for specific, specific words, you know, all that stuff to try to find something if you need to. And that's the whole purpose of, in my opinion, that's the, the best, one of the best features of having using ebooks, you know, you can search them, especially when they're in the right format, you know, you can search them and find exactly what you're looking for especially if you use a lot of these books for references which i typically do if i'm trying to figure out something uh and i haven't found it on the internet what i'm looking for if i want to start looking through a book then this is the easiest way to search you know versus you know turning a whole bunch of pages looking in the you know the looking up the definitions and seeing where it's used on what pages and going through the whole traditional way of looking through books or doing research through books you know is easily done you know via the digital version of the book so super awesome now that's pretty much all i wanted to show you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down in the comments below and like i said this is an awesome book reader or ebook reader uh, just go down and install it or check it out on your linux operating system it's simple to use and also if you need some books holler at me i, I have a you know a good repository of tech books uh that i probably need to put out there i had them out there once before but nobody was really, you know, interested in it um, or requesting for that for that stuff. So uh, so I could point them to the server that I had set up where I was hosting a lot of these books. So now I just went on and closed it off. And if you need a book or if you're looking for some books to help you with some training or whatever that I have available uh, and I'll share it to I'll share it with you. You know what I'm saying? No problem. Uh, just let me know. But I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and of course, keep it techie.